Marcus, how do you feel about the competition? You've got about four or five guys right now just trying to fight for only three spots in that outfield, and it kind of makes you want to bring it every day. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, yeah, but I can't say that none of the guys have any hard feelings because we know, like, our outfield is pretty good right now, and it's going to be days when somebody's not swinging where they're going to sit out. And, I mean, of course, you're going to be kind of mad, but at the same time, you never – there's no, like, uh, I guess you say tension between the outfielders because we know we got to compete to play. You're the old dog of Amongst Punch, you know, and you got a bunch of young guys who are making their first trip to some of the SEC venues. And what have you told about getting into SEC play? I just thought you got to be calm because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of things said to you that just can be personal or, you know, not personal. You just got to be calm and remind, just think that you're at home and you're playing ball and block everything out and do what you do best. Hey Marcus, I think last year you had 59 stolen bases or so, and you're already over 40 this year before you even get to conference play. What's kind of changed? Because you guys are – right at the top of the SEC now. What's kind of changed with that philosophy this year? I think coaches gave us a little more trust. I think we earned that in the fall of this running basis because me and Derek, we, you know, that was one thing we wanted to do was talk to coach about letting us free up a little bit. I mean, we're going to get through out sometimes. It's going to happen, but just to keep letting us run because, I mean, the thing is we just got to get on base to do that. I mean, once we get on base, there's no telling what can happen. How have you adapted as, as a base runner? You know, Coach Collins said that you've, you've become one of the best <coughs> base runners and you just kind of improved on it every year since you've been here. And it, it just seems like more of a natural thing now for you to, to steal bases and go from first to third without thinking about it. You just got you, you to pick up on each tendency. You can't take anything for granted. You got to check out the outfielder's arms when we're running or when they're taking in and out. And I mean, you just got to pick up on every little tendency you can. And it's not about being very fast, I mean, which it, it helps, but at the same time, I've seen people that's not very fast, it's very quick and very smart on the bases. They can still bases really good. So you just got to take each little thing and, you know, put it into your game. Even though the first three weekends didn't go as well as y'all really wanted it to, can everything y'all did and didn't do be applied to going into conference season now? I think so. I actually think it was kind of a wake-up call. I think we kind of needed a little bit to get going because, I mean, I think everybody was kind of still stuck on last year and what happened and how we started last year. And I think we needed some growing pains earlier because, I mean, it brought us closer together. So, I mean, I think it kind of helped a lot, and especially for me because it kind of woke me up. I mean, I'm not swinging it well as I would want to right now. I mean, I'm putting the ball in play, but it's just not bearing the balls up the way I want to. But I, I know me, like, sooner or later, those things change around. It always does for me around this time, especially. So, I mean, just stay humble and keep playing ball.